Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you saw us yesterday, then you saw that we did our Ipsy versus Ipsy original glam bag review where I put my own Ipsy bag against my mother's Ipsy bag. I figure out which one I like better as a whole, and then I create my perfect little Ipsy bag from the 10 products that we received. I picked five of them. And uh, this month, for the first time since we've started doing this segment, my Ipsy one, which I was very excited about. Now, as you guys know, it was Betty Boop themed and I love Betty Boop and I love the bag. So I'm very excited to do our very first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is the first month that we have decided to purchase the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I decided to do it, my mother also decided to do it. So I'm really excited to see what products I received and what products my mother received. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in so I don't ramble anymore. And I'm going to start with my mother's. She has opened hers, so she knows what she got. But I have no idea what she got and I have no idea what I got. Now, we spent a really long time researching and it was a very exciting discovery to realize that we would also be receiving a bag with the Glam Bag Pluses. That was kind of honestly, as silly as it sounds, that was the deciding factor in us purchasing the extra $25 box on top of our $12 subscription. It sounds really stupid because it's like probably a five cent to make bag, but I love bags that much. It will change the decision for me. Betty Boop was the theme. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out her bag, which is all the way at the bottom. And the bag matches, it matches the, the little face that we got. It's got like a little red Betty Boop at the bottom. There's a heart on this one. And it's that reversible, like, Oh, it's so cool. It's like that reversible shimmer. I wish it were like a red color underneath, but like still pretty freaking cool. Love the bags. Very excited about the theme this month. Let's go ahead and jump into what her uh, products is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the one that she chose and it's really not, and then I broke it. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. So you do get to choose with the Glam Bag Plus. You get to choose one of your products. Um, she chose this one. I did not. I know what I chose and this was not it, but this is a nice size blush palette. Holy crap. That is giant. And they're pretty colors. Like those are the colors that I would choose if I were choosing blushes for myself. There's uh, Athita, Dauphine, and Asalia. Um, there's like a kind of like a muted rose color, an orangey color, and then a more pinky tone. But they're all very brown tinted, if that makes sense. Like they're very neutral shades. They're not super pink, which is not what I go for at all. I like these shades a lot. So that was her choice and um, I, I would say overall it was a good choice. Um, if I, we'll see what I get with mine. I know what I chose and if I like it a lot. But if I had to choose a, a second product, I would have chosen that one. So that was a good choice on her end. We'll go ahead and talk about this because uh, I know I mentioned in the Ipsy original, the glam bag, that she did not receive a blush for the, or a, a blush, a brush for the first time in months in that bag. And I received a brush and I was excited about that because I like getting brushes. She's kind of sick of it because she feels like she gets one in every one. She didn't get one in her little bag, but she did receive one in this. She got a full set. They are Fera Beauty. They are really nice like contour and concealer and face brushes. Really nice. I think she's received this before. They have like really nice handles with like a grip on it. And the, I don't know if you guys can tell in the packaging, I'm not gonna take it out because it's not mine to take out, but it's like these blue, purple shaded bristles, really pretty. So once again, I would've been excited receiving this, but she's kinda like, seriously. I also feel like she has an extra product in here, but maybe I'm crazy. She definitely has six products in here. I don't know what that means. I don't know, we'll talk about it. <laughs> anyway, she got an, a Betty Boop times Ipsy draw on your eyeliner. And, oh, I'm sorry, these give you retail value since they're full size, so I will tell you the blush set is $30 value, the brush set is $48 value. Which honestly, I don't think I would pay that for three brushes, but I think that people would. I think that's probably about what the retail value is. Anyway, the Betty Boop eyeliner is a $16 value. It is a really nice like felt tipped eyeliner and I will swatch it. Oh shoot, man. That thing is like, that thing is fierce. That thing, I barely tapped down on it. That thing was like, take, take this pigment. Dang, okay, so that's a nice, that's a nice eyeliner. I'm. I'm pretty impressed with that island, I'm not gonna lie. This is extra. She did purchase extra stuff, so I'm not sure, like she did some of the add-ons. I'm not sure this is an add-on or not, but she got this Vita Toning Serum from Soro C. I'm thinking she purchased this extra, um, but it's just like a little it's like toning serum and like a little droplet bottle. It's not listed on her sheet, so that's why I'm saying that this is probably one of her add-ons and she just accidentally left it in here, but 
whatever. So I don't know what you paid for it, but I mean, hey, they add they have add-ons too, so that's cool. Moving right along now that we've been distracted sufficiently. She got this Joey Cosmetics. Believe this is like a highlighting stick. It's called a Spectra stick. And yeah, it's a really nice size like highlighting stick. I won't swatch it. I don't want to mess that up for her. Um, the eyeliner I swatched just because I know like it's not really going to be able to be that noticeable if I just swatch it on my hand. But yeah, so she got that. Think I've had anything from Jolie Cosmetics. Maybe I've gotten something like a small something from Ipsy before from them because they, they sound familiar, but I just can't think of anything that I've gotten from them. Um, but they are cruelty and, uh, cruelty free and vegan. So that's cool. And then finally she got the No Problem Priming Water, which I have actually received this very, uh, item in my BoxyCharm. I'm a huge fan of it. It's a little bit of a weird priming serum, but this looks like it's like a rose one. And the packaging is a little bit different than the one I received, but it is a very nice size. And I think in terms of, I don't think she uses primer a ton. But I think in terms of somebody who doesn't really use primer, this is actually a really good option for them. Because it is a liquid, it kind of just absorbed into your skin like a toner would. So I think she'll like this a lot. Um, but yeah, so overall, hers is pretty nice. Uh, we'll see what I get with mine and see if I like it better or if I like it worse or uh, what's going to happen. So let's jump into my box. Okay, so now we're jumping into my box off camera. I went ahead and uh, cut the little tabby open because I did. I almost killed myself doing the boxy charm one. I didn't want to do that again. So I like their packaging too. I didn't really notice or I didn't really mention it. For the bag, I said I didn't like the change in the packaging because I like the bright one, but I, I do like the box. I like the inside is pink. It's got like Ipsy written in the corner. Their little felty stuff is orange. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling the vibe and, oh, oh, jackpot. First off, I did get a duplicate because I also got the Lovecraft blush palette. I'm so happy, y'all. I did not think that this was gonna happen. No lie, I got the same box my mother did except for the product that I chose. I'm not even kidding. I don't know what that says about Ipsy. Uh, I don't know what's happened with the variations of these boxes. I'm okay with it because I like the box that she got, but that's just weird. So duplicate wise, I got, well, okay. So I got the same palette, but it's a different variation. So instead of uh, what she got, I got Cymbeline, which is my favorite Shakespeare play. So already loving that. Cineva and then Aditya. Oh, okay. So this, I got their bronzing palette. She got their blush palette. I got their bronzing palette. Actually, I like the fact that I got the bronzing palette better. So I really liked hers, but um, I like mine, mine better for the Lovecraft one. This is the one that I chose. So we were given an option of like a good five or six products to choose from, which I will have to say compared to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm gave me two products to choose from. Now I've been hating on BoxyCharm a lot recently because they've really offended me like the past few months. Am I a little bitter? Maybe, but like I just, I mean, you can't really dispute the fact that BoxyCharm gave me two options and Ipsy gave me like six. So I chose this really pretty Betty Boop eyeshadow palette. That's what the front looks like and inside. Hopefully this one isn't broken like my BoxyCharm one was. So it's a lot of shimmer shades. Like most of them have like at least a little metallic sheen to it, but you've got this really beautiful gold shimmer. You've got a couple of nice neutral shimmers in like a white, a white silver color and then like a more brownie color. You've got the purple one and then you've got like a really nice neutral pink shade. So overall, really love this. The fact that I also got a bronzing palette in this is just like already, in my opinion, I don't know what the retail value is. I haven't looked at my sheet yet, but um, overall I will say that it is a, uh, it's already paid for itself in my opinion from these two palettes alone. So now literally everything else is a duplicate, literally all of it. Um, I got my Farrah brushes, so haha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm very excited for these. I really was very, like, I was pretty envious of my mother getting them, and I'm just super psyched to get these. Um, but I also got the rose priming water, and then I also got the little Jolie Spectra stick. I'm assuming it's in the same shade. Oh, God. I can still smell that perfume that came in my mom's Ipsy. If you didn't see that one, you should watch it just because it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Yep, in the same bag. It's the same shade. Okay, so we have all seen that we got the same exact bag, essentially. I should be mad that we got literally identical bags minus the stuff that we chose, but I'm not. I'm just not. I'm very happy with it. Honestly, I'm a little jealous I didn't get her eyeliner. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, and then I got the bag too. So, if I had to choose which one I would choose between the two of these. I'm gonna choose my box. And then if I had to assemble my perfect box, um, honestly, I would probably pick everything in my box. It's easy because we got the same stuff, but everything in my box. But I think I actually would change out the, um, the 
highlighting contour stick because I'm not a big fan of highlighter sticks and I would put in the Betty Boop eyeliner that my mother got. Overall, it was an interesting experience seeing two boxes side by side. Uh, I'm a big fan of what Ipsy has done. Even though the boxes are identical and it, in my opinion, that kind of is a telltale sign that maybe they're not as diversified or specified to you yet as they have the potential to be, like the glam bags have become. Um, that being said, the products that I got, I really like. The products that my mom got, I really like. I don't know if she's gonna like them as much. I know she's like a little salty about the brushes, but uh, overall, I'm really happy with Ipsy. I've really liked the way that Ipsy has changed what they've done. That's a big deal, because there was a while that I was like, if Ipsy goes away, whatever. And I don't mean like as a company, I want them to, I obviously I wish them success, but just if they went away from me, like if I stopped getting the glam bags or if they didn't go through one month, I would be like, whatever. That being said, I'm very pleasantly surprised with how Ipsy has adjusted and I am um, a pretty big Ipsy supporter at the moment. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit the like button. It helps us a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'm pretty positive at this point, we will have hit 100 subscribers. Our 100 subscriber giveaway will have been announced. Plus we did a really awesome 100 subscriber uh, video where Nikki did my makeup, so that's fun to watch. If you haven't seen that already, please go and check that one out. Make sure you're subscribed and that way you can go ahead and enter into our giveaway and uh, hopefully catch some of these really awesome products that I have handpicked for the 100 subscriber winner. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay girly with a dark twist.